Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStudio.com and today we are going to do the full review of Honor Oli 2 Plus which we have got with us. This device has got a price tag of 8499 and whether it is worth that price tag we will try to tell you in this video. We will talk about all aspect of this phone including the build quality and design, the overall performance of the phone, display, gaming performance and all other things which may matter to you in case you plan to buy this one. So let me start with the review and the first thing I would like to talk about is the build quality and design. On the design front, the Honor Oli 2 Plus is very much different compared to the regular looking smartphone which we have normally seen. It has got a nice shiny chrome plastic over there on the edges which does make it look nice and the build quality of the phone is also good. The overall look and feel of the phone is quite premium for the price tag and it has got a nice textured back cover which will give you a very nice firm grip when you hold this phone in hand and it won't slip out of your hand. Again the quality of material which has been used on the phone is good if not great for the price tag. Now let's talk about the display. It has got a 720p high definition display which is good in terms of the wing angles. The display brightness is also good. Sunlight visibility the display is also nice as well so the overall display clarity the kind of colors it gives you is good as well and in terms of the overall usage you will not face any issues as far as display clarity is concerned let me talk about hardware now we have got a mediatek 6735 chipset on this device and we are not sure about the frequency so we installed this application which is quadrant standard which tells you about the hardware configuration of the phone and there is a slight amount of confusion over there so here we have the model number of the phone and here we have the cpu which is clocked at 1.3 gigahertz and it is mediatek 6735 which is good as far as gpu is concerned we have got Mali T720 GP which is good in terms of gaming we have got a high definition display which is 720 to 1184 and some part of the screen revolution is being taken up by these touch cube baffle buttons which are there within the display as far as sensors are concerned there are basic sensors on this phone which includes accelerometer proximity and light sensor so in terms of the overall hardware performance the phone is good enough in day-to-day -day usage let's take a look over the hardware benchmark score which we have got for this one on N2 we got a pretty good score for this device which is 31951 and this is how the other elementary scores look like again in terms of the overall performance this device is good if not great let's take a look over the nina mark score on nina mark we got a score of 59.8 aps which is again a very good score so in terms of gaming it has performed good on the gaming front we have got good performance on this phone we have not noticed any major issues Again, some of the high definition games like Nova 3 and Asphalt 8, they do show slight amount of graphic lag, but overall you can play those heavy games as well, which is definitely a nice thing for a device like this, which is so affordable in terms of the price. So gaming wise, it is a good phone, may not be a great phone, but it does perform good on the gaming front let's talk about cameras now on the camera front it has got a 13 megapixel camera module which is an autofocus camera it comes with led flash over there secondary microphone for noise cancellation on the front we have got a 5 megapixel fixed focus camera the camera results which we got from the device were good we took some photos with the panorama mode and they were looking very nice in terms of the overall clarity as well as in terms of merging all these photos together the formation was good low light shots with flash came out to be good as well in terms of the overall clarity in terms of colors everything was looking nice when we took photos in ultra low light that was kind of artificial light we did not got to see much amount of brightness in these photos this is one of the downside of the phone as far as camera is concerned but if you have good amount of light you can have good quality of photos with good amount of details good colors which are being reproduced and the camera perform very nicely in those scenarios when you have kind of artificial light or good amount of light again when it comes to macro shots macro shots were very good and clear they show good amount of details and they have good colors as well which are being reproduced when i took selfies in daylight they came out to be very good in terms of clarity details and colors as well everything was looking nice when i took selfies in low light scenarios there was slight amount of noise but still the camera performance from the front on this device was good if not great and the photos which we captured in low light from the rear camera came out to be good in terms of details more than what we expected from this device which is also a good thing and again the clarity and details are not missing even in low light shots which is definitely a good thing about the camera on honor 
Oli 2 Plus, which is definitely a good phone, if not a great phone for the price. Let's take a look over the internal configuration of the phone. We have Android 5.1.1 on this device, which is coming preloaded, a quad core 1.3 gigahertz CPU, which is good, 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage. Let's find out how much of storage is actually available. And we will just take a look over that over there in the storage section. And we have approximately 10.8 GB available to the user. Around 1 GB of applications are coming pre-installed. Most of the application you can disable and some of the application you can uninstall as well as far as preloaded blockware is concerned. Again, this phone is not coming up with too much of preloaded stuff, which is also a good thing. Let's take a look over the RAM scenario and we will just show you the current scenario for the RAM. On the first boot, the device will give you approximately 1.4 GB of RAM free and as of now it is 1.2 GB, which is still good. In case you plan to install heavy games and application you can do that on this phone and you can easily play these games without any issues on the phone provided the ram management which has been done very nicely on this one battery of the honor oli 2 plus is one of the major highlight and that is something which makes the device very good value for money because it has got a 4000 milliampere battery which again is non-removable because even if you remove the back cover you can do that but you cannot remove the battery because it is sealed inside in a metal container on the connectivity front you have got two sim card slot over there and a separate micro sd memory card so there is no compromise on the connectivity even when they have given a big battery on this one talking about the battery backup we tested the battery backup with this application and in our day-to-day -day usage we got more than one day of battery backup easily on this phone and we tested the battery backup of the phone as well when we played some games when we played a video or when we did a browsing test. So on this particular application, when we did a browsing test of approximately 10 minutes, the battery dropped by 1% only, which is definitely a good thing for a device like this. As far as video playback is concerned, we played a high definition video for approximately 14 minutes and there was only 2% of battery drop. So this is something which is also quite commendable here because we haven't seen these kind of stats on any other phone which has got this much of battery. So 18 minutes of gaming resulted in 4% of battery drop, which is again a very good thing. So you can expect this device to last long, more than one day easily in day-to-day -day usage. When it comes to connectivity, in case you would like to connect an OTG flash drive on this one, although there is a micro SD card slot, but OTG flash drives are not supported. Once you plug anything onto the micro SD port, it will ask you whether you would like to charge that because this device have a big battery and it also have an extra feature which allows you to charge another devices by using the power bank feature of the Honor Oli 2 Plus which is again good and it can allow you to charge other smartphones without carrying a power bank so you can consider this phone as a power bank as well with you this is all we have as far as the quick review of Honor Oli 2 Plus now I would like to mention some of the pros and cons of this device before I conclude my review and one of the pro of this device has to be the display it has got a very good display compared to other phones out there it has got better display compared to some of the phones which are available at the same price segment as far as build quality and design is concerned the design is no way very impressive but in terms of the look it looks nice and the build quality is also good for the price now let me mention some of the cons of this device one of the biggest con of this device has to be the fingerprint sensor which is missing so there is no fingerprint sensor on honor oli 2 plus compared to other devices which are offering the same apart from that if we talk about one more con which we have for this one has to be the hardware again it is coming with the old hardware which is mediatek 6735 which is already available for a lower price but this device is coming for 8499 the exact price of this device slightly higher but again it is good value for money in terms of what they are offering so this is all we have in case you have any queries and questions please leave your queries and questions in the comment section below you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you